On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the 2021 Trek Excalibur 7. This is a really exciting, very neat looking 1x10 XC bike. And we're gonna go into some of the features and designs about this bike, as well as find out exactly what it weighs. But before we get started, be sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future. So taking a look at the Trek Excalibur 7, we should go into some of the ethos or the design behind this. And where this bike slots in is this is the XC performance version of a mid-level bike from Trek, kind of like the Roscoe falls in as the trail mid-level bike from Trek. And so that means this bike's gonna have some pretty neat features like 100 millimeters of travel, a great XC geometry to make the bike nice and fast. And it'll be a pretty neat idea if you were say competing in some Nesco racing or even if you were looking for a faster mountain bike to get into the sport. So the first thing we should talk about is gonna be the frame setup on this bike. So this bike has what Trek calls their alpha gold aluminum. So it's gonna have a tapered head tube, it's gonna be a threaded bottom bracket, and it's gonna run Boost 141 quick release in the back. The other neat thing about the bike is gonna be that it runs what Trek calls smart wheel size, is depending on the frame size of the bike, is gonna depend what size wheels come with this bike. So in the case that we're looking at here, this is a size small. So this is gonna be mounted up using Bontrager's XR2 in a 27.5 by 2.2 width. If this was a medium or larger, so any size bigger than a small, this would come with a 29 inch wheel and that same XR2 in a 29 by 2.2. So the smart wheel size is gonna allow Trek to give you the, what they would call the fastest wheel size that fits. And generally in an XC bike, a larger wheel is gonna help with the performance. The other neat thing is, the bike is gonna be internally cable routed. Even though it's one by, it does have a spot for a front derailleur mount on it. And then in the back, you're gonna have mountings for racks. So if you wanted to make this a more adventure bike or something you would use for more than just riding the trails, you can put a rack and even a kickstand onto this bike. So overall, you end up with a really nice frame, something you can grow into and something you can definitely totally enjoy. So let's check out that 100 millimeter fork. And in this case, it's running RockShox Judy Silver. This is a solo air spring fork, meaning you've got the ability to adjust the air spring based on your weight and riding preference. It's gonna be 100 millimeter quick release in the front. And then it's gonna use what they call their turnkey lockout, which is a hydraulic lockout. So you've got open and it's progressive all the way to firm. On that same side, you do have a rebound adjust. So it's a good option on this bike. And I gotta say with that nice black stanchions, it really sets off nicely on the bike. For a drivetrain, you can get pretty excited about this. This has the brand new Shimano M5100 drivetrain. So the M5100 replaces the old style drivetrain and it's now a one by 10. So this bike drops the front chain ring. It gets a one by 10 with a nice wide range in back. So you're gonna have plenty of gear range. You get this Dior M5120 rear derailleur, which is clutched, so you can turn the clutch on and off. The cassette on the bike is the M4100 in an 1146. So that means this runs on a standard Shimano HG free hub body, so easy to get replacement parts, and 1146 is tons of gear range, and that's running through a KMC X10 chain to the Shimano Dior M5100 crankset. So this crank set goes into a threaded bottom bracket. It runs a 24 millimeter hollow spindle. And then it's got the narrow wide chain ring running a 30 tooth cog. Putting that power to the ground is gonna be what Bontrager calls their Covey wheel set. So the Covey wheel set is double wall. It's tubeless ready and it runs 24 spokes in the front and 32 spokes in the rear. The seat is gonna be the Bontrager Arvada saddle on a 31.6 aluminum seat post. And you can even add a dropper post to this bike if you want to, which runs internal just like the rest of the cable routing. 
up front, you've got an aluminum blender stem, and then that brings you to the Bontrager alloy handlebar. While we're checking out the controls, we should see that the bike has the Bontrager XR trail comp grips. These are a lock-on style grip, and they're situated right next to the Shimano MT200 hydraulic disc brakes. Those hydraulic disc brakes operate a two-piston caliper and run on mineral oil, which makes them very reliable and a nice setup for this bike. So now that we've taken a look at the features and designs of this Trek Excalibur 7, let's go ahead and find out what this weighs. The actual weight of the Trek Excalibur 7 in a size small comes in at 27.36 pounds. Well, thanks for watching this video on the Trek Excalibur 7. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit the thumbs up button as well as make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future.